Good morning everyone, my name is Dr Rachel Corman. I'm the Feline Specialist at Veterinary Specialist Services and this short video is just to demonstrate how to perform a urine dipstick on a urine sample from your cat at home. There's various reasons why we might ask you to do this. Generally it would be if your patient is diabetic and we're looking for signs of ketones or glucose in your cat's urine or alternatively if your cat has chronic kidney disease and we're looking for signs of protein. For further information, please don't hesitate to have a look at our website or contact us at any time. So once you've obtained the urine sample from your cat, ideally using the non-absorbable litter beads, um, we will then ask you to perform a urine dipstick. And so these test strips will be obtained from a pharmacy and we can give you details of where to get these from. And the important thing to remember is that these are dipsticks that are designed for human use. So don't panic because there will be lots of different tests on the sticks that actually aren't applicable to cats. Um, and so there are certainly certain things like um, the leukocyte box here um, that will give you error readings in cats. So, so don't panic about any of the test results. Um, generally, what you'll do is once you've obtained the urine sample, either in a syringe or in your pipette, you then take your dipstick out of the container and just individually put a drop of urine onto each of the little squares. like so. Ideally, you don't just run the urine across the strip like that, because then you might sort of get some bleeding across the different boxes. And as you can see, the boxes here are changing colour and it's this colour change of the strip that gives us the information that we need. So you need to wait about 30 seconds um, to a minute before you have a look um, at the colours here. And to read the strip, you just have a look at this information strip here provided on the container of the dipstick. Okay, and as you can see that you can line the colours up along this strip here. Okay, so depending on the brand of test that you're using, um, they'll have different results down the side here. But what you can see is the little leukocyte one at the top is white, nitrites here is pale, slightly pale purple, pH is the orange one here, so you can see we can get that result. And remember this result is not particularly reliable on the dipsticks for cats. And then we have a protein box here, and we can see from this one that the colour of this box sits just between the 5 and the 6 mark here. So I'd record this one as a 5.5 or a 6. Next we go down to the glucose strip. Um, and I have cheated a little bit with this one and I've actually just used a glucose solution. Um, but what you can see is that the glucose here is a very, very dark green, so 4 plus. Now, if your cat is diabetic, then this would be an expected result. Next, we look at the ketone strip. And as you can see, this one is sitting close to this slightly orange box, which would be a negative test result. Now, if you have a diabetic patient and you get a positive ketone, so in this darker purple tone here, then that would certainly be an indicator that you should seek veterinary advice with your cat. Um, so either call your referring vets or give us a call as well. And they're really the main results that we're looking for in home um, performed dipstick tests. So the protein, glucose and ketones. So once you've recorded those results, then you can finish the, the test, so throw this out, um, and contact either your referring vets or us with that information. 
So I hope this was a, a useful um, thing for you and please don't hesitate to contact the clinic at any time if you have any questions.